Today, I would like to show you my radio-controlled model hovercraft from banggood.com, as well as some modifications that I've done to mine. Later in the video, I'll show you the results. Before we get into the RC model and any modifications, let's look at the real vessel that this is a model of. The Zuber Class LCAC, or Landing Craft Air Cushion, is a Soviet-designed military hovercraft. In fact, it's the largest hovercraft ever built. You may have seen a video on the internet showing one of these landing on what appears to be a crowded beach. Yes, the video is real, and yes, it's that big. You can follow the link in the comments below for a short presentation about the Zuber Class LCAC, narrated by CNN's Jeannie Moss. The Zuber Class LCACs are still being made, and nearly a dozen are in operation by Russia, China, and Greece. It's important to mention that Greece is a NATO country, so those wanting to stick with models of NATO vehicles can still include this model in their fleet. However, Greek livalry is not included as it's sold by Banggood. Many other reviews of this model show the bow falling off the air cushion and digging in when the model is operated on water. In addition, it generally lacks lift, reducing performance on most terrain. Lift is generated by a centrifugal fan underneath the deck. The small, the small fans seen on the top of the deck are there for scale effect only and simply spin in the flow of the incoming air. While this is a cool scale detail, unrestricted flow into the centrifugal fan is essential. The faux fans can be removed by simply lifting them out. With the faux fans removed, I used a Dremel tool to remove some of the plastic at the entrance to the four ducts that carry the air to the intake side of the centrifugal fan. The faux fans can simply be pushed back in for scale display. Underneath the model, there is a large metal bracket that holds the lift fan brushless motor. This bracket blocks some of the air exiting the slots. By removing the area shown, we remove weight forward of the center of gravity while increasing airflow. I also opened up the forwardmost exit holes to again remove a little bit of weight while increasing airflow, especially in the front of the vehicle. Note the additional holes I punched in the skirt to mitigate the skirt billowing in this area. Other videos have suggested further modifications to the rubber skirt to make it more work more like the skirt on a real hovercraft. On this model, the skirt seems to be there more to hide the foam flotation than to actually contain the air cushion. However, since replacement skirts are not available, I need to do a little more research before I begin cutting mine up. For now, I'll leave you with some of the video of mine. While the bow still digs in over open water, in a shallow puddle or over wet, smooth ground, it actually does pretty well. Thanks, and please subscribe to the Car Cynics YouTube channel for more videos.